The White House says President Biden will hold stimulus package meetings today with Senator Sinema. Biden will also hold two other stimulus package meetings later this week with moderates and then with progressives. Bernie Sanders and Joe Manchin hold a private stimulus package meeting, and Kamala Harris holds her first meeting in several weeks. All of this and more in today's video. Hello and welcome to today's October 19th daily news report, as well as ongoing stimulus package information video. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, Consider subscribing right now. I want to keep you up to date on all that's going on in Washington, D.C., what's going on with this next stimulus package and the progress that will be made this week, what's going on in the U.S. economy, money, investing, and much, much more. All right, now, this is your daily reminder to go try to win some of the money that Casey and I are giving away. We're giving away $10,000 in cash to our community, thanks to generous sponsors. It's our way of giving back. Uh, we know that there are many in the community that are struggling to get a little extra money, and this is the most fair way that we've been able to come up with to help and to say thank you for supporting this channel. I'll make sure to leave a link below. Uh, before we jump in, I also want to thank today's video sponsor, ShipStation, and I'm going to tell you how to look good at your job today by letting the, uh, your manager know about how to save money with ShipStation. But let's jump into today's news. All right, now later today, President Joe Biden will be having a private meeting with Senator uh, Kirsten Sinema of Arizona, and they will be discussing the $3.5 trillion spending bill. Uh, Biden says that he wants to better understand Sinema's hangups uh, on the price tag, uh, why she thinks the bill will or will not help the American people, and basically just try to understand her thinking and get into her mind. President Biden recently admitted that he doesn't know if he'll be able to maintain the $3.5 trillion top line price tag, but he said that he wants to salvage as much of his own agenda as, as will be allowed so basically, he's, he's trying to keep that top price line, but he's also admitting, listen, I, I might not be able to get everything I want in my agenda. Now, this week, President Biden also wants to hold a few key meetings. First, he wants to meet with cinema, right? After that, he said he wants to call in the nine most influential, influential moderate Democrats uh, from the House of Representatives and start dialogue with them to understand, hey, what do we got to do to get this passed? Now, we know the first thing they're going to say is pass the $1.2 trillion bipartisan bill, but he already knows that. So he wants to know what else they want in order to pass the $3.5 trillion spending package. Then, after he meets with Cinema and the moderates, he wants to move on to the progressive Democrats. So Biden at this point has had to leave the orchestra and become the symphony conductor and figure out how to get everyone in his party playing the same song. Because right now they're all playing a different tune and he needs to pull it all together like a good conductor. All right, now it's uh, come out that uh, Senator Joe Manchin and uh, President Biden held a private uh, phone call to discuss the stimulus package last night. However, neither the White House nor uh, Manchin's press secretary are willing to discuss what they talked about on the phone call. So I, I don't know that it's uh, like a, ooh, I wonder what they talked about, right? They talked about the stimulus package, but it is kind of weird that they won't share what was said. Uh, we have also learned that Senator uh, Sanders and Joe Manchin held a private meeting in which Sanders accused Manchin of ruining the country by not going along with the Biden agenda. Now, according to sources, Manchin told Sanders he's out of touch with the country. He said there are far more moderates and conservatives than progressives, and most Americans don't want to see the United States become a socialist country like Venezuela. Now, Manchin said he doesn't like to... Uh, take political advice 
from someone who is a self-declared independent socialist. So things, things are getting a little bit hairy uh, with them, and I have a lot more to tell you about it, but first let me tell you about today's video sponsor. I wanna thank today's video sponsor, ShipStation. So many of you in my YouTube community have the company you work for sign up to save money on shipping with ShipStation that they've asked to sponsor one of my videos again. Now, I know it sounds weird to say this out loud, but we are less than 75 days until Christmas. So if your company does shipping, now is a perfect time to use ShipStation to make shipping easier. Now, I wanna make you look good to your boss today. Members of my community and the company they work for can get a 60-day free trial by going to ShipStation.com forward slash Stephen Gardner. You heard me right. They will give you or the company you work for two free months of no hassle, stress-free shipping by going to ShipStation.com forward slash Stephen Gardner. Membership on ShipStation's platform gets your company access to the same shipping discounts as Amazon, Walmart, and other big box businesses. So help your company compete by shipping more in less time while saving money. I'm going to leave a link below so that you can copy and paste it to your boss or manager today. All right, now let's get back to today's news. All right, now, Senator Manchin also said, this isn't the first time that an out-of-stater has tried to tell West Virginians what is best for them despite having no relationship with our state. Now, things have been getting heated between Democrats and the state of West Virginia. One Democrat representative is filling the heat after saying, the people of West Virginia are worthless and that the state added nothing to the country to which the other senator, a Republican named uh, Capito, said, uh, excuse me, it is our coal that will warm you this winter. So had to kind of walk back some of his comments. So things continue to heat up in Washington, D.C. Now, the media would have you believe that Senator Sanders, Sanders and Senator Manchin hate each other, right? That That's kind of the way that they portray it. And they are fighting, right? But I don't think it's to the death. Uh, the truth is that after their meeting, they both left the Capitol and did a photo shoot together where they were smiling and laughing, right? So in the media, they're portrayed as hating each other's guts. But then out, out on Capitol Hill, they're like best buddies, right? Doing photo shoots and, and different things. So, you know, the media is always trying to manipulate us, right? Just tell us the truth of what's going on and quit trying to push an agenda. All right, now Manchin did say, he explained to Sanders that Sanders keeps saying 48 senators are pushing the Biden agenda hard and you need to join us. But Manchin said, yes, but there are 52 of us that are worried about an overheating economy. Uh, Manchin said, we've got 10 million open jobs, a worker shortage, supply chain issues, and $5 trillion right now would be like throwing gas on a fire. So each of them is trying to help the other see through their eyes. To which Sanders said, this is an historic opportunity to fundamentally change the United States. Sanders said he expects this to all be wrapped up by next week. Uh, but he also admitted Democrats are running out of time. Now, when he says that, I think it's because President Biden is going to a climate change meeting in the over in Europe, and they're hoping to have uh, the $3.5 trillion uh, stimulus package locked down, not because it helps the American people, but so that they can talk about it at this big worldwide uh, climate change meeting that will be happening on November 1st. So hopefully they're pushing this forward for the American people and not just to have talking points at this meeting, but that's kind of what it's looking like. Now, Manchin also held a private closed door meeting with Representative Primila Jayapal, uh, but neither of them would discuss what they talked about. So wh what's the deal with all these private meetings, right? Manchin's having private meetings with Jayapal He's having private meetings with Joe Biden. Like, just, just tell us what you guys are talking about. 
All right, now the FDA is proposing that hearing aids for the first time ever be offered over the counter just like reading glasses. Too many seniors are in need of hearing care that aren't able to get it because of the cost of hearing aids and also because they force you to meet with a doctor. This new idea could lower the price of hearing aids and make them easier to obtain by being over the counter. All right, now speaking of seniors and those on social security, uh, I had a call this morning with somebody at the Senior Citizens League. Uh, this is the group that's calling for a $1,400 stimulus check. Uh, they've got a petition going where seniors and those on social security can sign. Uh, they mentioned that they have sent multiple messages and letters to Congress with relevant information on the need for a stimulus check for a smaller portion of the U.S. population. The group, the group also pointed out how many seniors simply can't wait until next year for the 5.9% uh, Social Security increase and how although that increase is nice, it doesn't even counteract the rising cost of living, groceries, or gas prices. So this organization is fighting on behalf of senior citizens, and that's why I reached out. Um, I'm hoping to speak with the head of the organization uh, to hopefully see what members of our community could do to collectively affect change and get our voices heard. Um, I told them how I've reached out to many members of Congress with no, with uh, not much luck. Um, they, they are uh, hopefully going to put me in contact where together we can do something to get your voices heard. I know that a large portion of my community is over the age of 50 or you're receiving some form of benefits from the Social Security Administration. All right, now last night, Vice President Harris uh, went to Lake Mead in Nevada to show how low the water levels are this year. She said Democrats need to pass the $3.5 trillion spending bill in order to change the climate and to refill Lake Mead. To which reporters responded, hey, that's great, but when are you going to visit the border and solve the border crisis? Harris ignored this and said right now she is focused on creating a climate core of young men and young women to rebuild trails, restore streams, and help stop wildfires. She said that there are hundreds of thousands of jobs the Biden administration could create to fight climate change right now, but only if the $3.5 trillion bill is passed. Speaking of the border, Senator Ted Cruz plans to introduce a new bill called the Surge Act. It stands for Stop the Surge of Unsafe Rio Grande Encampments, Surge. Uh, in the bill, Senator Cruz says the Biden administration has essentially surrendered the southern border. But since they don't live in Texas or feel the pressure citizens on the southern border are feeling, he wants to use this bill to make Vermont and Martha's Vineyard the new holding zone for illegal immigrants. Cruz purposely chose these locations because uh, these are popular vacation spots for Democrat government leaders. He said, maybe if you actually saw the plight and felt the pressure, you would be more willing to help. He then rip, ripped members of the squad, uh, people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, for being vocal about immigration while pointing out how none of them have come to the border to help or have done anything to stop illegal immigration and those coming into the country. Now, according to a new report that just came out, 90,000 illegal immigrants are expected to arrive at the border this Saturday and Sunday. A border patrol was tipped off by the Mexican government uh, which said we wanted to let the United States know so that they're not caught off, gore, caught off guard by this large surge of illegal immigrants uh, crossing through Mexico as I deliver this message. Now, the Biden administration said yesterday that they will restart Trump's remain in Mexico policy, but won't put it into place until sometime in the month of November. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki was asked, if Joe Biden planned to go to the southern border, or if he had ever even been to the southern border, 
To which she responded that she would need to circle back with an answer at a later date. However, several reports show that President Biden has never been to the uh, U.S.-Mexico border. The January 6th committee is seeking to bring charges against Trump's former White House consultant, Steve Bannon, for going against a subpoena from the committee. So basically, Steve Bannon was subpoenaed to come testify about his location uh, on January 6th, uh, but was told by former President Trump not to comply because uh, being connected to the president, he has executive privilege uh, and his whereabouts and what he was doing is protected. However, President Biden told the National Archives to release this privileged information about Trump and those connected to Trump. This is the first time in history a sitting president has gone against another uh, president. Uh, president Trump has filed a lawsuit seeking to keep those sealed records sealed. Man, <laughs> Former President Trump and current President Biden really have bad feelings towards each other. <laughs> All right. By the way, thank you guys so much for giving these videos a like. I really, really appreciate it and just love bringing you guys the news. All right. Now, there are rumors that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi might be retiring at the end of the year. Uh, typically, a new Speaker of the House is chosen in the month of January. Um, while it can't be confirmed that Pelosi... Uh, will retire. She has herself made several comments like uh, this is her last push with this last spending bill as a public servant. So she's kind of given uh, verbal indications that she might be retiring. All right, this week, two House Democrats and one Democrat senator announced that they will be retiring. This caught the Democrat Party off guard. And a Democrat election strategist has said that this is not going to help the Democrats uh, re retain control of the House uh, or the Senate in 2022. All right, now one last big piece of news that I know many of you have been waiting on. Uh, rapper Kanye West has finally been given permission from a California judge to, to change his name from Kanye to just Ye. So I know that many of you were on pins and needles about that. I'm just kidding. It was trending in the news. So I thought I'd let you know, don't call him Kanye anymore. And if he runs for president, it will be uh, yay, not Kanye. All right. This is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more. Uh, before you go, do get your name in. Uh, try to win some of that $10,000 of cash that Casey and I are giving away. It's our way of being helpful as we come into the Christmas season. I know that many of you are behind on bills. Food and gas have become expensive. So this is our way of giving back, and I'll make sure to leave a link below. Also, if you work for a company that does any kind of mailing or shipping, copy and paste the link in the pinned comment. Send it to your boss. Send it to your manager. You will look good, I promise you. If you're the person that saves your company money, it always looks really good for you. All right, now before you go, I want to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.